Welcome to the Glenn Ford Report on the Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. The incumbent mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, former chief of staff to President Obama, has been the mayor of Chicago since 2011. His re-election to a second term in office has been challenged by Chuy Garcia in an unprecedented runoff that will take place on April 7th. There are many divides among the public, and here to discuss them is Glenn Ford. Glenn is the executive editor of the Black Agenda Report. Thank you so much for joining me, Glenn. Thank you for the opportunity, Sharmini. So, Glenn, this time the polling is indicating that Rahm Emanuel is leading with the 51.3% margin, and Garcia is trailing at 33%. But there are 15% undecided out there. Do you think there is any chance of uh, Garcia garnering more votes? There's always a chance, but uh, it does not look good. The lay of the land does not look good. You know, uh, Rahm Emanuel was uh, elected back in 2011, and in that race, he got 59% of the black vote. Everyone agrees that the black vote is key here, but uh, Rahm Emanuel got 59% of it uh, when he first ran. Of course, back in those days, he was bathed in the glow of, Bo of Obama and his White House uh, since uh, Rahm Emanuel was just leaving as uh, having uh, served as uh, chief of staff there. Uh, since that time, uh, Rahm Emanuel has well earned uh, the uh, nickname Mayor One Percent, uh, and he's infuriated uh, the teachers union and many members of the community uh, by closing about 50 public schools, almost all of them in black and brown neighborhoods. So it would seem that Chewy Garcia uh, should be looking good. Chicago is a majority black and brown city. It's also a heavily unionized city, and that's always supposed to be a good ground for people like Garcia uh, to run on. And, Gar and it was good enough. It was good enough for Garcia uh, to get into the runoff uh, last month uh, by denying Rahm Emanuel a majority of the vote. But Rahm Emanuel, even last month, still got 42% of the black vote. He even got 36% of the Hispanic vote, and he got two-thirds of the white vote. And although Garcia does have strong support, especially among the teachers union, but also uh, among the uh, SEIU, which has many, many uh, Latino and black members, uh, labor overall in Chicago is split down the middle. And even AFSCME, which is considered to be a progressive union and is heavily black, AFSCME has been neutralized in this race. Uh, black Congressman uh, Bobby Rush is campaigning all out for Rahm Emanuel. Uh, Barack Obama is campaigning for his uh, boy as well. And uh, over the weekend, the black mayor of Atlanta, Georgia, Kasim Reed, was in Chicago campaigning for Emmanuel. So the odds are, I think, uh, that progressives are going to be disappointed uh, on Tuesday. They had hoped against hope uh, that they could put together a coalition like the one uh, that elected Harold Washington back in 1983, a coalition of blacks and Hispanics and progressive whites. Uh, but the numbers from the last election uh, don't seem to be pointing in that direction, not strong enough, I think, uh, to unseat Emmanuel. And uh, give us this uh, history lesson here in terms of the um, former Black Panther. Well, you know, back in 1983, Chicago was in between Daly's. Uh, the current Mayor Daly's father, the longtime machine mayor, uh, had passed, and younger Daly had not uh, yet run. So the machine uh, was weaker in 1983 uh, and was more vulnerable uh, to a challenge. Uh, it's also true, however, that the Democratic Party itself has turned much further to the right, and President Obama is part of that rightward shift. Certainly Rahm Emanuel uh, is. He was uh, President Obama's right-wing uh, hatchet man. And uh, all politics in 
Chicago is Democratic Party politics. So when the party goes right, uh, the, the, the Chicago goes right. And that includes the black politicians uh, like Bobby Rush. Back in 1983, Bobby Rush was only a decade away from having been uh, the acting leader of the Black Panther Party, who took over after uh, Fred Hampton and uh, Mark Clark were uh, assassinated. Uh, today, uh, Bobby Rush is a totally sold-out corporate politician, and that's why uh, he's campaigning uh, with, uh, with, with Rahm Emanuel. And, and the other issue, uh, and this one is harder to quantify, but it really hangs over the election, uh, is jobs, jobs, jobs. And I'm talking about uh, the way black folks uh, perceive job opportunities. Uh, not too long ago, I spent some time in Chicago when what struck me uh, was the uh, all the all the construction, residential uh, construction that was going on, especially in the South Side, uh, and much of it was gentrification uh, construction. Uh, but what uh, really uh, struck me uh, was was that uh, almost the uh, all of the construction crews uh, were comprised of of Latinos, and this in uh, a black neighborhood like the South Side. Black people see that uh, they believe uh, that uh, Latinos are taking uh, their their jobs. Uh, that's that's a, a a not just a racial uh, divide. Uh, that's a labor problem as well. That's a problem of folks uh, not understanding the labor market and how folks can be manipulated uh, by capital uh, in that market and by race. Uh, but it seems to be, I think, a, a strong factor in places like Chicago. Glenn, as always, thank you so much for joining us and giving us this update about the Chicago elections. We'll be watching for the results. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.